This is the math lesson from Monday, April 20th, 2020. Boys and girls, we are working on pages 307 and 308. Please make sure you have that out and ready. Okay, we're gonna look at just a few things that you will see on your worksheet today. Most of the problems on your worksheet are review for you, but um, I did wanna look at a couple of things. The first thing I wanna look at, um, the first problem on page 307 ask you to use a dot card to write two addition facts and two subtraction facts. Now we've done this many, many times, but I just wanted to review it with you because it's been a little while since we've done it. So we're gonna do one addition problem and one subtraction problem, okay? Now remember, when you do an addition problem for the dot card, you're going to count one side of the dot card and record that number. You're going to count the other side of the dot card record that number, and then you'll add both of those sides together to get your sum, okay? So let's look at our dot card. Our first side has three, six, seven dots, okay? So we have seven plus, now we're gonna count the second side of the dot card. One, two, three, four, five. Seven plus five equals, that's right, 12. Okay, go back and check your work. Count the total number of dots. Let's see if that's correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that was correct. Now, remember on the subtraction problem, you're going to take the total number of dots on the dot card that will be your first number to record, okay? Remember, you record the biggest number first on subtraction. We've already added the dots together. We know that the sum was 12. 12 minus, now you're going to write two subtraction facts, remember. We're only looking at one. So you can take either side, you're going to subtract the number of dots on the one side to find out your, your difference here. So we have 12. I'm just going to subtract this first side here. 12 minus, remember we had 7 here. 12 minus 7 equals, well what are we left with? We're left with 5. 12 minus 7 equals 5. The difference is 5. Okay? Now you, on your paper, will record one more addition fact. Okay, remember how we have twins? We've talked about our twin combinations. Simply reverse the order of these numbers, okay? You're going to write one addition fact and one subtraction fact on your own. Okay, we've already done 12 minus seven, so now you're going to subtract the other side. Okay, now you're also going to see on your worksheet, this will be on page 308, you are adding three digit numbers. What does that mean? That means your numbers have a number in the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. Now you've been adding two digit numbers. This will be the first time you've added three digit numbers. You are not going to have any problems with this, okay? Just like when you add two digit numbers, you start in your ones place, okay? So think about how you do it when you've added your two digit numbers. You're going to start in your ones place. So let's look at our first example. I have example A. I have the number 152 plus 235. Now I've drawn lines, and you'll see on your worksheet that you have lines on that as well, to remind you that we have a ones column a tens column and a hundreds column. We need to make sure to keep our numbers in line. We always start with the ones place. We're gonna start with the ones column. Two plus five equals seven. I now can move to the tens column. Five plus three equals eight. I need to make sure that I'm recording that number in my tens column or my tens place. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 152 plus 235 equals 387. Now, my example B is the same problem you have on your
your worksheet, page 308, number one. I want you to look at page 308, number one. Okay, 243 plus 156. We're going to work this together. I want you to work it with me, okay? Remember, we always start in the ones place or the ones column, okay? So three plus six equals nine, very good. Four plus five equals nine. Finally, I'm moving to the hundreds column. Two plus one equals three. 243 plus 156 equals 399. Very good. Now, I my example C here is the same problem you have on your worksheet, page 308 as well. You have another problem here, 143 plus 744. I want you to pause the video and I want you to do this one on your own. And then we're gonna check it together. Here we go. Did you start in your ones column first? Did you add the ones first? Three plus four equals seven. Okay, I'm moving to the tens column. Four plus four equals eight. Very nice. And finally, we're looking at the hundreds. One plus seven equals eight. Check your work. Did you get the same answer? 143 plus 744 equals 887. If you got the same answer, great job. If not, we're going to continue to work on this, okay? You have one more problem on your worksheet that I'm going to have you do on your own, okay? We're going to review this again tomorrow. Now, at the bottom of your worksheet, page 308, you're going to see a problem that says thinking cap, okay? It says write the missing numbers by ones, twos, threes, fives, or tens. It's at the very bottom. You'll see a bunch of boxes, okay? Now, they've already given you, they've already filled in a couple of the boxes. So, this is what you need to do. You need to decide what you are going to count by to get the same number that they've recorded in the box. For example, let's look at the very first, the very first row. Okay, the first number recorded is 30. They skipped a box and then they have the number 40. You have to, you have to decide what you can count by to get to 40 by the third box. Now, they said, Write the missing numbers by ones, twos, threes, fives, or tens. I would suggest you start at the ones. Count by ones and see if that will take you to this number here in the third box. For example, we have 30. If I count by ones, what's one more than 30? 30, 31, 40. Is that correct? No, no. So let's look next at the twos. Let's try the twos. 30, what is two more than 30? 32, 40. Does that make sense? Nope. Let's try again. Let's move on to the threes. We're going to count by threes. Remember our threes pattern. Three, six, nine. Let's try it. 30, 33, 40. Once again, that is not correct. Now let's move on to fives. Let's try counting by fives. If I'm at 30, what is five more than 30? 30, 35, 40. Oh, does that make sense? 30, 35, 40. Yes, this is counting by fives. Now, I want you to go ahead and record 35 on your worksheet. I want you to pause and I want you to fill in the remaining boxes counting by fives and then unpause the video and we're going to check it together. Here we go. 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 
55, 60. Check your work. How did you do? Okay, we're gonna do one more together and then you'll do the rest on your own. Okay, let's look at the second row. We have the number 30, skip a number, 34. Let's start with the ones. Always start with the, the ones, okay? Let's see if we can make that make sense. 30, 31, 34. No, that would be incorrect. Let's try the twos. 30, 32, 34. I think we found a winner. Okay, 30, 32, 34. They're counting by twos. I want you to pause the video, fill in the remaining boxes, and we're gonna look at it together. Here we go. 30, 32, 34, you remember our four, our two pattern? We have two, four, six, eight, zero. So let's try that. 32, 34, 36, 38, oh, what's two more? 40, 42. Check your work, okay? I want you to work um, diligently. I want you to finish the rest of those boxes. Remember, we've already used the counting by fives, counting by twos. So you can mark both of those out. You take your worksheet. Let's see, it says write the missing numbers by ones, twos, threes, fives, or tens. You can mark those two out, okay? Because you've already used those. So now you can go through the rest, the remaining, the remaining rows and try adding or counting by ones. Try counting by threes, try counting by tens, okay? Do your best work.